welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be getting my life back on track. So I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but my last upload, I was basically just having a really open and honest conversation with you guys about how I felt recently because I was feeling really down in myself. I just didn't really feel like myself at all, hence why I missed a week of uploading, which was really weird for me because I never miss an upload. I think the last time I missed an upload was when I was in locked in, but that was because I was still like working and filming for YouTube just for a different channel. Like missing an upload on my channel genuinely made me so just like upset, but I needed to do it for my own like mental health and my own sake. But I'm back and today I am gonna be getting my life on track. So my last video I filmed yesterday and then me and Haz actually went out to dinner last night. It was so nice. He went to the Ivy Asia and it was the most beautiful, beautiful meal. Honestly, I think that's my favorite restaurant to go to in Manchester or definitely like one of like top three favorite restaurants to go to and I just love it. So we went there and then we actually went to the Alchemist after because it's just opposite in Spinningfield and I went and had a drink and it was so good and then we were like, oh, like we still want a drink. Maybe we'll like go out and go, go to a couple of bars and stuff and we went to Albert's and oh my God, on a Monday night, it is absolutely dead. I'm not gonna lie. We thought we were gonna go in there and it was gonna be like proper, proper busy because from like Thursday to Sunday, it always is. But yeah, there was barely anybody in there. So we walked in, went to go and get a drink at the bar and then turned around and we were like, yeah, no, we're gonna go go home, go watch the Love Island final and uh, get a Mackey's in bed. That's exactly what we did and it was so much fun. And Love Island last night, oh my God, Davide and Ekansu won. I am so, so happy. But I'm gonna talk more about that later. But like I said, today I'm getting my life back on track. So I'm first of all gonna do you guys a little clothing haul because I've picked up some clothes from PLT that I am obsessed with. You guys know PLT is my favorite clothing brand ever anyway. I literally live and sleep in their clothes, but I have got some really cute little like end of summer sort of fits that I want to show you from there and also fits to be fair that you could wear into autumn as well. So I'm going to do you guys a little clothing haul and then we can get on with the day. I'm actually having a games night tonight with all of my friends that Jazz and Soph are hosting. So that's going to be really fun. And I think I'm also going to head over to Asda because I need to get some food in because yet again, I have no food. I've eaten all my food in the house. I've got so many cute clothes that I'm going to show you from PLT and a huge thank you to PLT for sponsoring this video as well. You guys know I am obsessed with PLT. They're my favorite clothing brand ever. So I'm gonna leave links to all of the items that I'm gonna show down below. I don't know how many items I've got here. I've got quite a few, but I am so excited to show you them all. So first of all, also this is gonna be a try and haul so you guys can see what they look like on. First of all, I've got this big green shirt. I actually kept the tag in even though I wore it last night because I wanted to remember what it was called. This is the khaki oversized pinstripe cuff shirt and it's so nice. I actually got this thinking that I was gonna wear it on like a beach sort of holiday. And I was like, oh yeah, like I can wear it as a kind of like a cover up because I'm pretty sure that's what it was like on the picture on the model but then I put it on last night and I actually wore it as a dress and I wore it with like a green bag and green heels and I thought it was so nice but I just love the material of it I love just like the how muted green it is I just think it's a really really nice shirt and yeah I absolutely love this I wore it as a dress and it was so so cute next also PLT material at the moment is amazing this material I don't know if it says what it is orange oh it's heavy linen collar plunge shirt this is gorgeous I nearly wore this last night actually with some trousers I'm going to show you in a second but it, yeah it's like a heavy linen material it feels so so high quality and just so expensive but obviously it's really really affordable so this is the shirt it's just an orange little like kind of tie in the middle shirt and then it's got long sleeves and then the sleeves are like like cuffed like this you can't move them they're like sewed like that but it's so nice and I love it because I don't have to wear a bra with it but my boobs still look even so as soon as I put it on I was like yes I absolutely love this and then I actually wore it with these brown trousers as well I chose it with these brown trousers because I'm pretty sure, again, this is what the model had on and it looked really cute. So these are the chocolate woven linen feel tailored high waisted wide leg trousers. Oh my God, that was a mouthful. But these are so nice. They fit perfectly. Just for size reference, I got mine in a size six, just in case you're wondering. But they're so nice. They've got pockets on the back. They've got side pockets. And I'm really enjoying the kind of like linen material at the moment. I think it's really, really cute. But yeah, these are long flowy wide leg trousers. And with this orange top here, they look so, so nice. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these like as we're coming out of summer and going into autumn i just love tailored trousers like this i have a lot of pairs but i don't actually have any linen ones so i'm really happy i've got some linen ones now okay lace up tops corset tops you guys know i absolutely love them i live in them on my instagram this is the orange mesh lace up top and they did this in a couple of colors but for some reason at the moment orange is just calling my name like i'm loving the color orange so i decided to pick it up an orange and it's so nice it's like a yeah like a mesh kind of like see-through material is it inside out oh my god it is because i tried 
tried it on yesterday. It's inside out. There we go. I was thinking to myself, it doesn't look right. There we go. That's what it's meant to look like. But it's laced up in the middle. And then obviously you can tighten the sleeves if you want to. And you can tighten it as much in the middle as you want. But I again wore that with the brown trousers when I tried it on. And it was so nice. And yeah, just tops like this. I love like cute little lace up tops. Super, super cute. I then picked up some sunglasses because I feel like I have a lot of like very cool looking sunglasses. But I don't have just a nice normal basic pair. So I picked up these ones because I'm not going to lie. These are my favorite style of sunglasses to go for. I need to cut the tag off in the middle. Oh, I need to get the middle bit off. But I just love sunglasses like this. I think they just really suit my face. And now I need another holiday. I need an excuse to go and wear these sunglasses. Next up, we have got a pair of cargoes. So these are the khaki parachute shell cargoes. And I actually already have these in white and a charcoal gray. But I saw them in khaki and I was like, yeah, they need to go in my basket. So these are such nice fitted cargoes. It, like I said, it's like the parachute fit. They're quite baggy. They go a little bit tighter at the bottom. And then they've got like a belt that you can kind of tighten as much as you want. So you can have them loose and like low waisted fitting, or you can kind of have them a bit high waisted and like tighter. I love these so much. Again, they've got pockets and these are like a nice khaki color. Um, you've got pockets all the way down the side as well. And then these are the bottom. You'll be able to see more in the try on clip. But yeah, these are so, so comfy. I love these. Next, we've got two cohorts. So I saw this and again, the color just won me over immediately i feel like i normally wear a lot of black hence why i'm in an all black outfit today and i'm really trying to make a conscious effort to change that and wear a different color and i saw this and again i'm pretty sure they do it in a lot of other colors but just the electric blue was like yes so this is the bright blue woven balloon sleeve oversized shirt so here is the shirt again really really nice material love the color of it like love the color of it and the sleeves are balloon as well which i think just makes the outfit a little bit more dressy something a little bit different to cuff sleeves but i really really like it and then then I've got the matching shorts. So I'm really excited to wear this. These are the bright blue woven elastic waist floaty shorts. I think what I'll do is I'll pop the shorts on and then just tuck like one side of the shirt into the shorts so you can see the shorts. It doesn't look like a dress. But I love this. I love a good like shirt short cord and I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this. I'm going to London with my mum and Atticus in a couple of weeks. I'm having a couple of days there and I think I'm going to wear this to go and see like a West End and a meal. I feel like it's a nice like summer evening vibe sort of outfit. This outfit is a little bit more dressy and I feel like this is perfect for the beach so again just another excuse for me to book a holiday but this is the orange please say not detail bralette so this is the top and I love it again orange orange is my favorite color at the moment and it's literally like it says it's a please say material so super super soft and then it's just got a little knot in the middle and then to match it I have got the skirt but I feel like this is like I said a very much like an evening holiday sort of vibe outfit so I'm just gonna have to book another holiday Day, but I love stuff like this like I never used to wear skirts skirts were just something that I just never ventured into and recently this summer I've been wearing quite a lot of them and I've been really enjoying it so again this has got the knot detail but it's actually like on the side so you guys will be able to see oh it's kind of on the side but it's not like dead in the middle um and then the skirt just flows down and there's a nice little slit in the skirt as well and the material is super super soft and again the color I love and then talking about skirts I feel like this is going to be a real fave in this haul but this is a white cargo skirt I've been seeing these all over in Instagram and part of me was like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off because like I said I've always had a bit of an odd relationship with skirts but I was like no I need to push myself outside my comfort zone so I got a white cargo skirt love this so so much I cannot wait to wear it it's got the pockets and it's quite a short skirt as well because I do enjoy my skirts being like above the knee and then to wear with that I actually just got a black slinky high neck well not really a high neck this is more of like a racer top actually I love tops like this just nice little basic tops to keep in your wardrobe and I like this material because it holds up my boobs with that me having to wear a bra i always have to get them really tight to like hoist up my boobs because this top i'm wearing it right now is as well from plt and it's the same material and it's just so nice this does also have a high neck as well though actually but yeah just a nice little black basic top to wear with skirts and trousers and stuff and then finally i actually picked up is this i think it's called a unitard black sculpt halter neck mini unitard so again i saw this and i was like oh i have a vision with like these sunglasses this a cute little bag on my shoulder some trainers and some like socks just like a bit above the trainer i just had a vision and i think it's gonna be really nice but like i said this is just a black mini unitard and i love stuff like this i feel like i've got a lot of like black ribbed all in ones i feel like that's very much my vibe that is everything that i picked up from plt thank you so much to plt for sponsoring that part of the video all of the links are going to be down below if you guys do want to shop i cannot wait to wear all those clothes i now just have like so many clothes and so many excuses to book holidays and book meals and like book like going out places for i am now gonna head over to starbucks i think and asda i don't know what i want to get because I don't really know what I'm fancying. I feel like I'm 
cooking the same meals over and over again it's always like spaghetti bolognese lasagna i feel like i alternate those two meals so i feel like i need to look online at some recipes and then just try and change what i'm cooking a bit did get a hello fresh box delivered this morning though actually that's got three really nice recipes in so maybe i don't need to get as much food as i thought maybe i just need to go and get like snacky stuff and i need milk because i went to make a cup of tea this morning and realized i had no milk in and that was genuine heartbreak i'm in the car i just went round the starbucks drive through to get myself some lunch and i saw that they brought out this new like pizza thing and i've just realized this box is really cool as well but yeah, it's like a new i didn't pronounce it right pizza mozzarella and tomato pizza and it looked really good so i thought i would get it <gasps> whoa oh my god look at that that looks so nice i'm gonna i'm gonna have to use the knife and fork to eat this pizza because i think it's gonna be really warm but let's give it a go wow that is really good glad i went to starbucks for lunch i was gonna go to mcdonald's and get the new halloumi sticks but starbucks have pulled through i also got a drink this is the strawberry acai refresher i fancy it's like really refreshing today because it's really warm still oh that's nice that is really nice. Wow, why did I get that more often? Can we talk about Love Island? Ek and Sue and Davide won. I honestly am so, so happy. Really annoying though, because I didn't watch the final when it was on live last night because me and Haz were out, so we had to watch it on catch up. And obviously I'd already seen on social media who had won because everyone was posting it. And then we opened the group chat and everyone was putting in the group chat and like talking about it. So I already knew the order. But oh my God, the speeches literally made me tear up. I was like, they are so beautiful. And then when Davide said Tiamo, I was like, this is too much i'm so happy i wanted ekinsu and davide to win so bad they were literally like the public's favorite all the way through like i honestly absolutely adore her you can just tell as well like she's so in love with him and she just can't believe that she's got him and like oh it's just the cutest thing in the world but i don't know what i'm gonna do with myself now at like 9 p.m when love island's not on i need to find a new series netflix have actually got quite a few new things out at the moment they've got that girl in the picture which looks really good but it's only like an hour and a half documentary and i saw another one like the world's most wanted man or like something like that that looked really good as well i need to watch a long series that i can like get myself into every night because honestly i lived my life for love island 9 p.m every night i'll be there at the tv and now what am i gonna do myself so yeah very sad love island's over however this season was so good i think it was probably one of my favorite love island seasons which i felt like you could never really beat the old ones but i actually do think this one was like on par with them i need to go to asda i need to get some food but i need to write a shopping list because i don't really know what i'm buying because i've got hello fresh downstairs and that's three meals and me and freya are going to cook one for dinner tonight and then i'll probably have one tomorrow or one thursday i'm just talking to myself now i'll see you guys in asda i've come to asda and all i've got is flowers a ready meal and a dairy lunch ball because like i said i've got hello fresh so i didn't actually really need to do a full food shop so i'm glad i didn't get a trolley or anything but i'm gonna get myself some drinks and these <laughs> With me, babe. <laughs> Quick little chocolate break at the shop. I've got some magic stars. Jazz has got a Kit Kat Junkie. I've been wanting these for days. <laughs> and okay. literally, ever since I've got to Jazz, she's like, guys, I really want a really Kit Kat Junkie. Awesome. We've done that one a lot. Yeah, but that's iconic. Like, kind of... But we need an old one. Ah, what's the one? Who won? Me. <laughs> and I'm home. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I don't know what's going on with the lighting in my apartment. Let's just ignore that. And my makeup. Oh my god, it looks. I don't even know why I'm showing that actually. It's gonna be so hot in here. My makeup looks awful. Um, but I'm back. We had girls' night, and that was so much fun. It was me, Freya, Jazz, Sophie, and Tia. Callum and Haz felt too ill to come, and then Byron is in Manchester at the moment. But it was so much fun. We just played games and ate food and spoke about dirty things for like hours, and it was just so good and then tomorrow me tia and freya are going to tatton park which is going to be really good it's like a kind of like a country park sort of thing like 20 minutes outside of manchester but there's loads of deer and it's just a really nice little day out and it's going to be 22 degrees we were like yeah that'll be fun i'm tempted to go and get my nails done in the morning unless i go thursday because my nails are so outgrown right now don't know what is going on with them but well when you're in the sun they grow more don't they but jesus christ they're awful and on this hand 
yeah i don't want to talk about it but i am gonna end this video here i hope you guys have enjoyed i feel like it's just been a nice little chilled day in the life getting my life back on track i feel like i just feel 10 times better now like gonna got some food like me and freya cooked dinner earlier we cooked a chicken pasta bake actually when did freya put the rest of the chicken pasta bake i just thought to myself because i don't know where it went when we left it's in the microwave let me show you okay i can't lie now that it's like cooled down and not got like the cheese on top doesn't look as appealing but oh my god it was so good i'm actually gonna have some in a minute um i'm gonna heat it up and put it in a microwave but i'm gonna box this up in like tupperware boxes and we're gonna take this to the park tomorrow to have for lunch but yeah we made that and that was really good and i've got two more hello fresh meals to make so i might make one tomorrow tea and freya will probably come back again and we'll probably have dinner together and then i'll probably make one thursday too but hello fresh is just like so handy i love it it just saves like buying all the separate ingredients and stuff from asda or wherever you food shop it just makes it a lot easier so yeah hello fresh I do love you. But yeah, like I said, I do feel like I've got myself back on track today. Just sorting myself out. Like, the only annoying thing is I feel like I'm coming on my period. You know when you get that, like, heavy feeling in your stomach? And I've been, like, TMI, but back and forth on the toilet the whole night. And you know when you can just tell that it's happening? And I was like, hmm, that explains why I was feeling sad. Because as soon as I'm coming on my period for, the couple, like, a couple of days before, I feel horrendous. Like, horrendously sad. And it always happens to me every single time. And I think that is what is happening. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I've got some really fun videos coming next week actually I've got some like challenge sort of videos so back to the normal style videos for a while and then oh, I'm still going to weekly vlog and then just kind of put the clips out whenever I fancy but I just kind of want to go back to doing some more challenge and like fun videos as well as the vlog just to kind of like switch it up a little bit now I'm going I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and I will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye